Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The nonprofit group Citizens Against the Rehoboth Compressor Station held a talk with Dr. Nathan Phillips of Boston University. He spoke on natural gas and how leaks in our infrastructure can cause problems. We spoke with him to learn more. Tonight I gave a Gas Leaks 101 briefing, basically the scope and scale of the problem with the leaks that are mostly running under our streets and sidewalks through the pipes that deliver gas into our homes and buildings. There's a range of problems with this old aging infrastructure that go from the point of the leak where it can kill trees, those trees can fall over and damage people and property, to the air quality degradation that happens in communities, and then to the largest scale, which is climate change, the very big issue with methane leaking into the atmosphere and degrading the climate. There's also the money lost, uh, there's explosions that occur, so there's a range of problems with our gas infrastructure, and it's an old infrastructure, some of these pipes are over 100 years old, so we have to seriously think about whether we're really going to reinvest to rebuild this old system or do we need to transition. Yeah, so about 10 to 15 years ago a new technology came out for detecting gas at very, very minute concentrations in the parts per billion, very, very precise. And we worked with a group to figure out how to use that in a vehicle linked with a GPS so we can map this stuff right onto Google Earth. So it's, it's really kind of like street view of Google, but for natural gas and methane. And so we drove the streets of Boston to start off with and mapped 3,356 leaks. My draw dropped when we started seeing all of these leaks. We had no idea. And then we just kept mapping in different communities and have scoped out the problem in, across the eastern seaboard and other places as well. So about three years ago, I had a very different view. I thought, well, we have to replace these pipes. They're leaking. The permanent solution is to replace those pipes. But that always was kind of um, bothered me because I knew what I was saying was like committing to an energy system that we also know our climate action plans and the climate situation tells us we need to transition off. So about two years ago, a uh, graduate student, Margaret Hendrick, provided the solution. She did a study that found that 7% of the gas leaks emit 50% of the lost gas. We call those super emitters. And what the, that means is that we can be very targeted about which leaks we find and fix. Find and fix the biggest leaks, patch them, triage the system, bandage the system, if you will, and then focus our efforts and our resources on transitioning to safer, cleaner, renewably based heating systems. And we have a pathway for doing that. Well, we, we use this analogy of pruning a tree. A hundred years ago when people were going to take a tree down, they just started sawing at the bottom and timber, or they watch a tree go. These days, if you ever see a tree crew, they go to the top and they start pruning back the branches and bringing it down in an orderly, managed fashion. The gas system is a bit like a tree network. It's got branches, it's got terminal ends, uh, it's, it's got dead end streets, and so we, can, we know where those leaking pipes are, and we can start to, to, to uh, strategically take off sections of the ailing gas grid and flip those sections and save the $1.9 million per mile of ratepayer funded money that would otherwise replace those pipes to electrify those systems instead. So they can go to Gas Safety USA, that's Bob's um, outfit. They can go to my website, bu.edu forward slash earth to learn about the research that I've been doing in this area. And one nonprofit that is outstanding that we've worked very closely with is called HEAT, Home Energy Efficiency Team. They're a nonprofit in Cambridge, Massachusetts, heatma.org and they've really spearheaded this, this triage and transition, working with communities, working with municipalities, working with the utilities to pilot this process by which we can make that transition.